Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show, home improvement and maintenance tips from the pros. Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show Action Edition, where we feature an actionable tip that you can use today. And I'm here with Larry. Larry, what is the tip? Johnny, the tip, the tip. So I was doing some of my uh, famous reading, folks. Believe it or not, we actually do some work for this show. You, <laughs> as hard as that is to believe. I was doing a little light reading in the Insurance Journal magazine. Now Very there's, exciting. Yeah, that's riveting stuff. But what the re the reason it caught my eye is actually I was doing just we we scan the news for various different kinds of information that that is you know of interest. This particular article had to do with a bill that's in front of the Georgia um, Congress or Congress. Anyway, it's up in the House and they are um, contemplating making a roofing replacement that you have to replace by code the whole roof instead of doing roofing repairs. Um, and it is a law that is uh, that's spun out of. I guess there's certain roofing manufacturers that have gone out of business or have caused problems with replacing a roof. You can't really repair the roof. You can't get the colors. You can't do this. You can't do that. And so it's spurring our lawmakers. And the idea of this tip was to let you know that you do need to check. Some of these things are covered under code, right, John? So if if you're if Georgia has yet to pass this bill, as far as I can tell from reading this article, plus I did a little background check. Um, and they haven't passed it yet, but they're they're on the cusp of passing it about that. If you if your roof, if your insurance company is quoting your roof, they're going to replace the entire roof, not just replace a portion of it. So designed to protect you, I guess. But point being, the tip is, is that you need to check your codes, your local codes on what is going to be appropriate or your state laws, what's going to be appropriate as far as doing some of these types of repairs and contractors, too. If you're a contractor, you might want to learn. You know, if you're a roofing contractor here in Georgia, you better be aware that this bill might become the way it is. So just yeah. a thought. Uh, Johnny, from, any, from what any I read, comments on that? Yeah. So what I read uh, part of that is when you replace um, pieces and parts of the roof, that when those, those manufacturers don't make that specific shingle anymore, and then they can't match that thing anymore. Right. So it causes that, other problems. That has been a that's been a that's been both aesthetic and other and otherwise a, another you know uh, problem, but um, there has been a company out there that has a class action lawsuit against it, and this is the one that they kind of uh, used as the the model for this. Um, of course, there's a big battle if you have these things. They're Atlas shingles. Mm -hmm. um, I think other companies have have been in the found themselves in the same spot. Many companies, many companies who make building products find themselves in this spot, right? Over yep. the years, um, but the what happened was, you know, that the, the the way they built some of these shingles is that the uh, I guess they can blister and they peel up and then they blow off. Um, yep, and then comes i'm not going to replace your whole roof i will replace that section if you have an architectural roof with the tabs and things like that then they can't match those things anymore <laughs> and you get as and close, they don't function properly and, and you can't you, you're right right and you can't find them so that is that's been given a lot of consternation to all these all these homeowners out there that have gone through through this so i think that's part of what i'm seeing here is that they're going to say look you know um we're gonna you know we're gonna have to come to some kind of um, conclusion on replacing the whole roof and believe me that's not cheap my buddy is is he's got those shingles on his roof and um you know they he had a quote for twenty eight thousand dollars to replace his roof yeah yeah, um, and that's and that's the issue. Know, that's By the way, a, this law exists. The, our law, our law here in Georgia exists based on a tech, uh, uh, not a Texas, on a uh, Tennessee and a Florida law. So it is already in in effect in certain states. I don't know about the rest of them, but it's part of the reason for letting people know this isn't just a Georgia thing. This is actually elsewhere, out and around in the United States. So, 
And that's, you know, um, there's been yeah. a couple other things that have gone out there, you know, the hail damage and, and, and circumventing a lot of things, um, you know, getting around, you know, we're, we're, let's say working the system to get new roofs based <laughs> upon the contractors. Right. You know, and, and, right. and that kind of thing, you know, working insurance side of things. So right. anyways, um, that it's a good tip. It's a good tip. And like you said, people need to be aware of, of, of what's happening because a lot of people have these issues. Right. It's more common than I think people want to realize. So just be aware, as we like to say, we're here to help save you time, money, and aggravation on your home maintenance and repair. And that's certainly one that you at least need to be cognizant cool. of. You yeah. need to be aware, you know, because it's, as John said, doing a roof is not, A, it's a big investment of time and B, well, I, or it can be, but it's definitely a big investment of money and first line of defense on your house, meaning from the roof down. So you want to make sure that your roof is good. Anyway, long story short, anything else for us this week, Johnny? That's it. All another right. Well, if week. you another another fun week, if you like the Handyman Pros Radio Show, please tell your friends and neighbors. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, handymanprosradioshow.com. You can send us an email on our contact page. You can sign up for our newsletter on the contact page. You can get a hold of us on Facebook at Handyman Pros, uh, Twitter at Handyman Radio. All that good way to get a hold of us. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you want to I tell you if you have a show title. Let us know because we'll do shows. We we have if you have questions about what you're looking for, I don't care what it is within reason. Keep it within the kind of the handyman building type area. We would love to do a show. Just send us an email. Again, questions at Handyman Pros Radio Show. All right. Well, thanks for listening. We will see you next week on the Handyman Pros Radio Show. Mm-hmm.